The iX Flow is the world's first real color changing car and we showed it at the CES in Las Vegas this year. Since CES we've been working on the iX Flow and this prototype was our very first car and it's got new controllers in it now that can react much more dynamic so we can react really quickly to sensors which was necessary for this prototype. We've combined our technology with Brain Boost. So essentially we can react to sensors, we can react to brain waves. Brain Boost is a Munich-based startup combining mental health and neurotechnology. Our mission is to create awareness for mental wellness and help people to learn what actually helps them to calm down or stay in focus. Is this okay for a few minutes? Yes. Our core technology is neurofeedback, which aims to help people get a better understanding for their brain activity. Usually we display that on a screen or on a monitor, but today we have something special. This one shows you that the brain is now calm, and when it gets more active again, then the car will just start flashing different colors again. To measure the brain activity of the RATA participants, we use EEG technology, which has been around for decades in the medical field. The technology allows us to read the electric activity that the brain is generating and thus we will understand if the brain is in a more active or less active state. This can be easily done by putting on a cap and a few electrodes on the head of a person and within a minute we will get a proper medical grade EEG signal. We then process this EEG signal with certain algorithms and create scores that show us if the brain is actually more calm or more active. The brain pattern is then projected onto the car and people can immediately and in real time see what's happening in their brain. Neurofeedback aims to help people get a better understanding of their brain activity and figure out which techniques actually help them to calm down their brain or to stay in focus for longer times. And hopefully after this experiment they can take their learnings home and implement into their daily routines. Here at RadHub, we're thinking about how digital life can be in the year 2040. And for me, a lot of the magic in this technology is combining it with various sensors, with proximity sensors, with sunlight sensors, and yeah, why not control your car with the power of thought? The BMW iX Flow brings the digital soul of BMW to the exterior. By changing the color of the entire car, we're bringing personalization to unforeseen levels. The technology behind the BMW iX Flow is color change, e-ink. Picture a piece of white paper in your hand and this white paper turns black. BMW is premiering the use of e-ink in automotive and we see a number of benefits for our customers. The first is personalization, self-expression. You choose the clothes you wear in the morning, you choose your social media status, you choose the color of your car. Another benefit of e-ink is we can show information on the exterior of the car. We can show you the battery status. We can show you if a car sharing car is free or if it's been cleaned, or if you've lost your car in a parking lot, we can make it flash and then you can see it in your peripheral vision. A third reason to use e-ink in a car is a functional reason. By changing the color of a car, we can influence sunlight reflection and thus influence the thermal properties of the car to support our sustainability goals. E-ink is color change. Uh, it's, it's amazing, it's magical. The possibilities with e-ink are almost infinite. The idea of an e-ink car started a few years ago with the technology itself. When I held this technology in my hands, I knew it was something special, something different, and that I'd try my best to get it into our products. The steps involved in making an e-ink car largely focus around getting something that's very 2D like e-ink. It's like 
quite a stiff cardboard to something that's very 3D, like our cars. So we take the car as a large 3D object and we break it down into sections. Once we have these 3D sections, we unwrap from 3D into 2D. When we unwrap and we use computer-aided design, it's important that we maintain information about the curvature of the car at the important points. Generative design is, is kind of a mighty tool that we use in uh, modeling. Different to, to normally uh, computer-aided styling programs, you're not creating a shape itself, but you are creating um, a kind of algorithm that creates a shape. One great example is the kidney of the IX. If you take a closer look, you will find each triangle defers to the next one. So they differ in size, in the distance to each other, and also in the three-dimensionality along the pattern. And this is designed with an algorithm in the background. We do many tests with paper, and once we're sure that it's perfect, then we laser the e-ink. And then we have lots of little 2D parts that we have to adhere to the car. And you do that, you repeat that uh, many times. And at the end of the day, we have to coat the car. So we have to seal it in. Of course, uh, the automotive robustness is important to us so that it can stand up weather conditions and it's robust against being, being hit. So final coating is then the final step. And of course, there's a bunch of electronics and programming that comes after that. e-ink can improve our products in three ways. So first is personalization, individualization. You decide what you want to wear, what your social media status is, and you can decide what your car looks like. Secondly, information. e-ink could help us portray useful information externally. The status of the battery, or you can't find your car, we can make the car flash, and uh, then you see it in your peripheral vision and you know uh, where to go. The third use of e-ink in automotive is a functional use. Through color, we can control sunlight reflection and thermal properties. We can change the entire car uh, to essentially support climate control and to save energy. With this project, the iX, what we essentially have is a lowest resolution possible, a single pixel car that changes entirely. One great benefit is that it doesn't consume energy. Only when you switch it, it needs a bit of power and then it can stay in this state uh, without any power. So that makes it the perfect material 